Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to apply baseline correction using deep soil software. We have here one motion, I call it KK. So if you activate it, you can see that the displacement, it's drift away from zero. So in the baseline correction, we're gonna make that, this motion in the displacement time history start from zero and go back again at the end to the zero again. Okay, so we need to go down here. So if this is not open, you just click on the motion metric and tools and then click on process. After that, select base cor baseline correction. You will see there is a new new uh, window. The blue line is the, uh, the motion before the correction, the baseline correction, and the pink color represent the motion after the baseline corrected. So you see here it's corrected and here is the sh just the name of the motion. You can see both motion at the same plot as you can see here. So you see that it, it didn't change too much the baseline cor the, the acceleration time history but it, it, it uh, shifted the displacement back again to zero as you can see here. And the same thing for the, the, the uh, velocity time uh, velocity ex uh, time history. Okay, and uh, this plot here shows the Fourier amplitude spectra and 5% damped spectral acceleration. So if you want to save this uh, new motion, you just click here, save corrected motion, and it, it will save the, the new motion, the corrected motion, as a TXT file. So that's it for today, and uh, please don't forget to watch the other videos regarding the deep soil video uh, uh, tutorials. I, sh I showed many uh, tools, very useful tools in deep soil, such as uh, scaling, and baseline correction, uh, sites response analysis. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.